This is gonna be a long one. Hi guys, Grace Melody here. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, sorry about the lighting. Um, I have to have the light on because as you can see, it's kind of dark. It's only like 4 p.m. but with winter and all that, it's already dark. So sorry for the awkward lighting because the light is literally behind me. But this is the only place I can really film for this. So yeah, um, today I'm filming my CD collection. Um, this is something I asked if people would be interested out, interested out, interested in, I don't know why I said out. This is something I asked if people would be interested in on my Instagram and a lot of people said yes. It was also on my Facebook page. Um, it was like 90% of people said yes on both platforms. So I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so today I have been running around like an idiot trying to find all of my CDs because most of them were up here on that big empty shelf over there but there were a lot of them downstairs as well because that shelf was full but now I have new shelves which I won't show you right now because the camera is on it but I will show you a picture at the end so I'm putting all of my new CDs I'm putting all of my old CDs onto my new shelves and yeah I, I, this is the best time really to film a collection video so why not so I'm trying to think how I'm gonna go through this I kind of was going to separate the non idol stuff and the idol stuff but I think that's just gonna get confusing so we're just gonna do one long thing so I'm gonna try and go through this in alphabetical order and when I say alphabetical order I mean um, the English alphabet because most most of my CDs are in Japanese but it's I still like to organize them by English alphabet not by the Japanese alphabet so it'll be A B C etc etc um, Numbers will go first and then the special characters like the plus sign will go at the end. Also, for Japanese solo artists like Nami Amaro, I will be going by whichever way I say it first. So I know it's kind of awkward, but to be fair, I think Nami Amaro is the only one I've got. So I'm going to be doing that by N instead of A. Whereas obviously all of the English ones I'll be doing in the normal order. So Kelly Clarkson will be K instead of C. I'm mumbling up all of my words today, but we're just gonna go right in and start. Okay, so first off, we are going to start off with AKB48. Now, I only actually have two CDs by AKB48. So I have the single, Halloween Night, which is honestly one of my favorite songs. So let me put that on the shelf. And then I also have this album, which is the, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's the zero to one album. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, this is the theater edition and this has a lot of AKB48 songs, like the majority of them. So as soon as I saw this for sale, I was like, well, that's a good one to get. Um, I'm not a huge fan of AKB48, so I didn't want to spend loads of money on all of the singles. So I was like, well, this one's going to give me most of the songs. So I'll just get this. And yeah, I love it. I listen to it a lot. Also guys, before we carry on, I do want to say I do think I'm missing some of the CDs here because I know I have at least one Berry's Cobo single, but I can't find it, so I'll probably find that at some point. So yeah, I might not have all of them here, but this is the majority of my collection. So for B, we have Bandmade. So first I got, let me pick it up, Brand New Made. Oh, you can see the recording. <laughs> yeah, I have Brand New Made, which is a great album. What's on that one? Uh, yeah, my favourite song on that one is probably Brand New Road or mm, I kind of like Freedom as well. So that's a great one. And then I also have this one, which unfortunately is a little bit cracked, but that's my own fault. Um, and this is World Domination, which of course has Domination. Um, what else does it have that I like? Oh, Daydreaming. I love Daydreaming. So that's another one. So I have two band-made CDs. Next up, we're going back to A because I totally forgot Anja Demu. I'm probably gonna be going backwards and forwards a little bit here, but it's confusing. Okay, I have a lot of CDs in my bed. I'll put up a picture here. This is what my bed looks like right now. So it's very confusing. Um, probably gonna be doing a bit of back and forth. So let's see, which one of these came out first? Uh, okay, I believe this one came first. I might be saying these in the wrong order because you know, there's a lot of singles, but I'm just gonna go through what I've got. So first I have this one, which is Dundengeish. Oh, that reflection's annoying. Dundengeish and Watashi. And Desugute. Uh, Desugute kui wa nai. I don't know why I forgot that and just went on to Watashi, but hey. I also have 
this one, which is probably my favourite Andrew Dimmer single. Um, this has Nana Kurobi Yaoki, Gashin Shotan, and Maho Sukai Sally. Um, ups and downs, extreme hardships inside of the witch. So that's one of my favourite ones. Um, as many of you probably know if you follow me, I tend to perform Nana Kurobi Yaoki a lot. So you can probably tell it's one of my favourite ones. Uh, then I have, which is actually, this has the first song that I heard by Andrew Dimmer. Tsugi Tsugi Zaku Zaku, which also have Itoshima Distance and the other one that I don't remember the name of off the top of my head, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that's another favourite of mine. I do love Tsugi Tsugi Zaku Zaku, it's a bop. Moving on to Umakui Enai and the really long one that begins with Ayatame that I am not saying the entire name of because I will mess it up. And Wasudeta Agaru. See, I remember. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love this one as well. It's. <laughs> This is like the era of Anjume that I really liked. Like I loved them from Sugi Sugi up until like Nakanaize. I still love them obviously, but these are like my favorites. Next we have one that's not my favorite single, but I still do like it a lot. So I was like, I'm gonna get it. It's cheap, why not? Um, so we have Aisai Araba, uh, the Namida. How do you say that one? The one that begins with Namida. That's like one of my least favorite songs by them because it's too slow for me. And Majoku Mega-chan, which is my favorite song on the single. So I love those outfits as well. The reflection's really annoying, I'm sorry. There we go. And my last Anju de Mewan, Uraha Lover, Nakanai Zakyo Kansagi, and Kinidaki Janai Set Friends 2018 Acoustic Version. So yeah, uh, those outfits are amazing. It's not my favorite cover. Um, like, not my favorite cover of the thing. You know what I mean. Um, but I actually, I think that when I got for free, um, at the Anjidam concert, there were a bunch of Japanese fans who were just giving out CDs. We love you guys, that was really amazing. You made so many people happy. So I was really happy to have that because Nakanaize Kyokan Saga is like my favorite Anjidam song at the minute. So that was an amazing addition to the collection. And now continuing on with B, I have a BIS CD. So this is PPCC. Uh, yeah, this has PPCC, Crack Crack, Survival Dance, No Cry More, and another long song that I don't remember the name of. Um, yeah, I got this one from Chima. I really like it. Um, PPCC is a great song, so that's a nice little addition to my collection from a, a group that I wouldn't necessarily buy the CDs from because I do like them, but they're not one of my favourites. Obviously, I usually prefer like Hello Projects, like I collect as many of their CDs as I can. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice addition to the collection and I really like it, so thank you, Chima. So next up, I have Cheryl Cole. Yeah. Um, another, is that another or is it my first one? It's a non-Japanese artist anyway. I do actually have some non-Japanese CDs, can you believe it? Um, so this one is Messy Little Raindrops. Um, I picked this one up because it was really cheap. A lot of CDs are really cheap these days. And this one has Promise This, which is probably my favorite song by her. Uh, it's got some other good ones too, like The Flood, Raindrops, Hummingbird. So yeah, it's a nice little addition to the collection. I mostly got it for Promise This, but it's a good CD in general. Next up, another non-Japanese one, Christina Aguilera, and this is called Stripped. I couldn't remember off the top of my head, so I had to look. Um, so this one has, which song does this have? So this has Beautiful and Dirty, which are two of my favorite songs by her. So I was like, yeah, I picked this up with the Cheryl Cole one. I was like, that'll be a nice little addition to the collection. Beautiful cover art as usual. So yeah, Christina Aguilera. I do actually have a CD by her. Okay, so next up we have Kita. Okay, so first of all, I'm definitely not going to be saying these singles in order because I don't remember a lot of, um, like, the 2013 to 2015. I don't really remember the order of the singles for them, so we're just going to go through them and I will look them up later so I can organise it properly on my shelves. So first we have The Power, which also has Kanishiki Helen on it, the single version, of course. So I love this cover of it. Trying not to get the reflection in it, I think that's the best angle. So yeah, that's my first cute CD. Then I also have Kokoro Sekabina. <laughs> I said that wrong, but the Kokoro one, and it also has Love Take It All. So that's a really good CD. Love Take It All was uh, one of my first favorites by Cute. Uh, also again, a good cover. Um, so yeah, I didn't actually know I had that CD, so I'm very happy about that. Next up we have Tokaiko Junjo and Aitemoto Zenshin. So I love this one yet again, um, Tokaiko Junjo, I, it was kind of a boring one to me at first but I've really gotten into it recently so again I didn't really remember having that on CD but I will take it. So next up we have Adam to Even No Dilemma, I don't remember what the other song on this one is and I don't think it says on the front, uh, oh Kanoshiki Amafuri, so yeah, 
Adam and Eve, it's another song that I wasn't that fond of, but I kind of picked up a lot of these cute songs together, cute singles together. Um, it's another one that's kind of grown on me, not gonna lie. Same with Kanashiki kind of Amafuri. Um, and I do love the cover art for that one, because it's just so nice and simple, but effective. And next up we have The Middle Management. What else is on this one? The Middle Management, Sugi Nakado Amagare and Gamusha Life. Um, Gamusha Life is obviously an amazing one. I have this cover version of it. And yeah, oh, the outfits in that are just so good. This is one of the first singles I ever heard, so I was very happy to get this CD when I first got it. And next up we have probably one of my favourite cute songs, which is Mugen Climax. This of course also comes with, oh, which ones is it? Singi Anakoba no Yoni and I Will Marry Dese Rinki. So yeah, that's another amazing one that I've got. I also just want to point out the actual CD on this one because it's got a really nice, I'm trying to see if you can see it. You can sort of tell it's got like a nice little decoration on it. So that's a really lovely addition to my collection and I'm very happy to have it. So yeah. And then the last single that I have from Q is their final single, which has the Curtain Rises, Final Squall and To Tomorrow. So obviously this is a really important one to me because I love Q, so it was really nice to get their final single as a group. And um, just look at those outfits. I love the Curtain Rises, I performed that one quite a lot as well, so I was really happy to get that on CD. And then my last cute CD is actually an album, which is C Major 9. Unfortunately, there's a very large crack down there which is my own fault. I kind of squished it a bit when I was uh, transporting CDs today. But, you know, it still works, so I love it. Um, obviously, this has a lot of amazing songs in it. It has all of the recent singles, but it also has Joanette's Extra She, which is one of my favorite cute songs. It has Digitalic Love, Rian Jiao, Yokozuna Message, Odds Gonna On and Off Forever, Iron Heart. It's an amazing album, probably my favorite album by them, so I'm really glad that it's the album I own. So next up we have Dabalando. Now I don't know if this album actually has a name. I think it's just called Dabaland, but this is the one that she sold um, at her UK tour, which was the one in 2018 with Necronom Idol and Screening 60s. I don't remember the name in Japanese, I'm so sorry. Um, so I was very happy to get this. I got this and a t-shirt and some checky. And this has some amazing songs in it. So I think my favorite Hmm. My favourite is probably Negapuzzy Monster, which is the first track on it, but I also really like Resu and um, Katamino Lily is nice as well. So this has some really good songs on it. Uh, please come back again. I've seen you twice now, but I love you. <laughs> Double Land are amazing, so if you don't know them and you like finding underground idols, definitely check them out. I say them, but it's a one-person group, so it's just Saki-chan. Um, definitely check her out. She's been to the UK twice now, I believe. Yeah, I've seen her twice. So unless she's come another time that I didn't know about. She's been at least twice and she was amazing both times. So definitely check her out. So next up we have the letter E and I believe I only have one artist in this letter and that is Example with the album playing in the shadows. Now I only got this because I love the song Change The Way You Kiss Me. Not gonna lie. It was like a pound so I was like why not? Yeah I don't actually really know any of the other songs on this one. I'm so sorry Example. You're amazing. I just haven't listened to you that much yet. But yeah. I picked it up because why not? Now I can't see any CDs for F, so we're moving on to G. And for G, I have Girls Aloud. Um, so this album is called Out of Control. Uh, on this album, I like the songs The Promise. Uh, I think just The Promise. <laughs> I like The Promise and I like We Wanna Party. So yeah, this was another really cheap one that I found, but Girls Aloud were like my childhood, so I was like, I've got to pick that up because The Promise is an amazing. So yeah, letter G, I have Girls Allowed Out of Control. So I don't have anything for HRI, so we are moving on to J. And first for J, I have Jolly Boat, of course. A little signed CD there. Um, I showed this off in a vlog after London Anime and Gaming Con, but I've got to include it here as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be putting this one on my CD shelf, because obviously it's very thin, uh, and I won't see it. So this one's going to stay out, but yeah, Jolly Boat. Can't go wrong with a bit of Jolly Boat. Okay, so next up, continuing with Jay, we have another Hello Project group. That's right, it's Juice Juice. So, first of all, I have this one, which is Wakashi ga yume ni dakushime nakyane. Yes, I can say that because of the amount of times I performed it, I had to learn how to say it. Um, so yeah, this is the original version with Little Old Aina. Um, I think this might have been the first Juice Juice CD I got, I'm not 100% sure on that, but obviously it's an amazing one, you know. I 
and I love that. I performed that dance so much and I love the original version the best. So yeah. Next up we have Lomans no Tochu, which also has the memorial edits for Samidare Bijoga Samidaru and Watashi ga Yuma ni Um I love the song Romance no Tochu, don't really care about the memorial edits, but I love Romance no Tochu so much I was like, I need this single. So I got it. Next up we have ugh, another one of my favourites. I think most Jujutsu songs are my favourites. But anyway, Hadakana 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 Kiss. That is so much fun to say, not gonna lie. So yeah, I love the artwork for this one. I can't really show it off that well because obviously the camera's not that great, but it's an amazing single. You definitely need to check that one out if you're looking into Juice Juice. Next up, I have two versions of this single actually. So this is Black Butterfly and Kaze ni Fukarete. So this is the Black Butterfly version, which I have, which is probably my favorite of the two, but I got a set. And then the Kazuni Fukarete cover for it, which a lot of people like that one, but I just, I like the Black Butterfly outfits, I'm sorry. So next up we have Jidan the Dance and Feel Kanjirio. It is that, isn't it? Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, I definitely am missing some CDs here because I have a couple of Country Girls ones, which I haven't shown, obviously, and I know that I have another cover of this CD, so I don't know where the others are, but we're just gonna go with it. Jidanda Dance is an amazing song, I loved it. And when they announced the world tour, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get to see Jidanda Dance live. So that was very exciting. Feel Kanji Rio, I don't, again, I don't really like slow songs that much, but it's still an amazing song. And they all sound amazing on it, so great single. And now my last Juice Juice CD is Vivid Midnight. So this has Sexy Sexy, Naita Iyo, and Vivid Midnight. Um, I had to get the Vivid Midnight cover because that is just, oh, look how beautiful it is. It looks very K-pop though, I always think that for this song. But yeah, um, that's an amazing single as well. Again, Night Eo is a slow song, so not really for me, but it still sounds good. Um, but Sexy Sexy and Vivid Midnight I adore, so I'm so happy to have that on CD. Okay, so moving on to K, and I think this is right, because I think this group is called Kamen Joshi. I don't know if that's a short version and it's a longer name, but this is Genki Dene, which is an amazing song. Uh, I don't know much about the group if you couldn't figure by me not knowing their name properly, but yeah, they basically, they wear masks and they sing idol songs. That's all I know. <laughs> but it's an amazing song. This is version D, I believe. I don't know if it says it anywhere on there, but I believe I did look it up and this was version D. They had a lot of covers for this single. I think it was like their first big single, um, but it's a really good song. Oh, it does say it says type D right there. I'm just blind. So yeah, definitely check this one out if you want to find a new group and you haven't heard of them before. Continuing with K, we have another non-Japanese artist. I know, see, I have some non-Japanese CDs. So today we have Kelly Clarkson with and break up no breakaway i knew it had the word break in it okay that's all i knew so this song has breakaway since you've been gone um let's see what i like walk away <laughs> that took me a while uh but yeah i mostly got this because again it was another cheap cd and i love since you've been gone so i was like i'm gonna add some kelly clarks into my collection so yeah so for l i have one cd and that is lily allen with all right still so this is an amazing one um, what songs does this have on it? This has Smile, which is probably my favourite song by her. Um, it also has Alfie, which I absolutely adore. Uh, it has Friday Night, Littlest Things, Everything's Just Wonderful. So this is an amazing album. I was very happy to get my hands on this one. Again, it was really cheap, but I was very happy nonetheless. So it made my little day. Okay, and now we're on to the big one. Morning Ms. May. Now, first of all, I have this Club Hello Trance remix, which for some reason I put in the Morning Musume pile, even though it's Club Hello technically. So we have that, which just has some trance remixes of Hello Project songs. So that's a nice little addition. Okay, so first up we have First Time, which is one of my favorite Morning Musume albums. In fact, it might be my favorite. So this has Good Morning, um, Wagamama, uh, what's the other one I really like? Yume no Naka. And of course the first um, single, so it has Morning Coffee and Ayanotane. Uh, absolutely adore this so, so much. Uh, it's one of their best in my opinion. So yeah, I was very happy to get my hands on that because I looked for that for so long. So yeah, one of my favorite CDs right there. Now to follow first time, we have Second Morning. So this has amazing songs like Sukide Times 5, Night to Tokyo City. Um, what's the one I really like? 
Otome no Shin Nigaku. I really love that. I don't know why. It really grew on me. Um, it also has mixes of recent singles, so it has Minatsu no Ko Sendai to Hold On Me, uh, Koi no Shisetsu Resha, and Never Forget. It has different mixes of those. Uh, again, a really strong album. I really do like Early Morning Mizume, and Second Morning is no different from that. And to follow on, next we have Third Love Paradise, which is of course their third album. Um, so this has, of course, Love Machine. I think my favourite song on this album is probably Dance Sudanoda, because, I mean, I love Love Machine, but I I tend to ignore the single songs on albums because I like to get the singles as well. So my favourite song on here is definitely Dance Sudanoda. I love that song so much. So I was very happy to get this pretty much just for that song. Next up, we have Four, Ikimashoi. Um, so I don't know if I... This doesn't have a list of songs in it, so I have to remember. Um, so of course this has Ikimashoi, which is an amazing song. What's the other song that I like? Is it Suki no Senpai? It might be Suki no Senpai. But in general, this is a really good album. There's some really amazing songs on it. I mean, just look at that artwork. It's so silly. You can tell it's really early. Really early? Really early morning was Um when they got kind of in their silly phase a little bit. So yeah, another amazing album, of course. And then moving on, we actually have my last Morning Was My album, I know. Uh, and it's not number five, unfortunately. I do want number five, because I need Gambache on top in my life. But this is, this is probably a contender with Thirst Time for my favorite Morning Was My album. And this is, I don't actually remember how, the title of it goes that was not English I don't actually remember the name of it because I tend to just go oh sixth album seventh album but it's the sixth album um so this has amazing songs this has um Koe, Dokusen Yoku and Joshi Kashimashi Monogatari 2 which I prefer over the original uh what's the other song I like Haruna Uta and Lemon Irona Mukti those are my favorites as well so yeah there's some songs in this album that I really love it has like five of my favorite album songs in one album so yeah I love this one to pieces as well and next up I guess I'm gonna say this CD here because technically you could class it as a morning with my album and I don't know where else to put it but this is the Little Dog Dan Story soundtrack which Morning with May were in I don't even like dogs I'm terrified of dogs I have cyanophobia but it's a Morning Mizume CD, so I'm gonna get it. Now I'm gonna say this one goes here as well, because I forgot that I have another soundtrack. So this one is The Morning Cop, which was Morning Mizume and Michio Haike. Um, so this was like based around Eye to Hold on Me. And I like Koino ABC on this, but I mainly like it because it has the sexy long version of Die to Hold on Me, which is one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick that next to Little Dog Dung's story. And now we are actually on to singles. Yes, finally. Okay, so first up, the first single, Morning Coffee. Don't worry, I promise I don't have literally every single single. I just have most of them. Um, so this is Morning Coffee and Aino Tane, which of course is an amazing single, uh, the first one. And I was very, very happy to get this. I believe this is the 2005 version. Yes, yeah, so this is the re-release. So it also has the unreleased flat version of morning coffee so it's just a nice little extra next up we have i th i believe their best-selling single love machine now of course this is a classic i absolutely adore it i believe this might be the original because look how tiny that cd is <laughs> um so yeah it's obviously an amazing song an amazing single i needed to own that so Love Machine, I believe, was the seventh single, and now we're on to the one that came after that. Coin no Dance Society. Now this is also one of my favourites. I'm gonna be saying that a lot, I'm sorry. But I really do I really do love Coin no Dance Society. It's so silly but so fun. So I just had to get my hands on that. Again, tiny little CD. And next we move on to a little more of a slow song, but also really upbeat in its own right. And that is I Wish. So I really love this one. It's a quite a long song, but it's really fun. It also has the coupling track, I Could Get In My Boy, which is one of my favorite coupling tracks. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> I love how they're pointing to the sticker that says it's 105 yen. And next we move on to Lena and Evolution, 21. So again, another amazing one. The outfits were quite questionable, but the song's amazing. <laughs> Uh, the music video for this one is very like 90s pop like it looks like they're ripping off um, S Club 7 like <laughs> But it's amazing and it's an amazing song. So yeah, I had to own that 
And now we are on to the piece. Again, another amazing one. Uh, it's got that on the back as well. Um, there's not really much to say about the piece. I like it. I don't like it as much as I used to, but it did used to be one of my favorite songs. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to own it. Okay, I just have to bring over the next stack of Morning Ms. May CDs because they literally didn't all fit in one stack. So next up, we have Roman, My Dear Boy. Now, this actually looks kind of squashed and that's because this came with four posters, which I put up in my room. They're not up at the minute, but they wear up. Um, so yeah, it looks a bit squashed. Sorry, Roman. Uh, an another amazing single. Um, can't really go wrong with Roman, My Dear Boy. I've sung that quite a few times live as well. Okay, so next up we have I Alaba, That's All Right. I don't know why I said that's all right. It's It's All Right. Uh, another amazing single. Um, I mostly like that one because of Canon's graduation, not gonna lie. Other than that, it's kind of, mm, but you know, it helps to complete my morning as my collection. Next up we have Go Girl, Coin of Victory, which is a song that I go through a lot of love-hate relationships with. Sometimes I love it, other times it's like, ugh, the song again. But it is good and it has a good coupling track as well. It has coin. Next up, we have Shabandama, which is the debut of six generation members, Reina, Eri, and Sayumi. I don't think Miki was in this one. She might have been, but I don't think she was. Let me see. She was. <laughs> okay, um, so Shabandama was like my favorite song for a very, very long time. It's still one of my favorites, but it's just not up there anymore. I think I listened to it a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I was very happy to get a CD. That was, I believe, a Christmas present or a birthday present. Um, so I was very, very happy to get that. So thank you, mother. Next up, we have Aster One Day, which is one of the few slow songs that I actually really do like. Uh, I love Kaori in this as well. It's just so beautiful. So yeah, I do like that one quite a lot. Then we have Morning Mizume no Hyokkori Hyokkanjima, which is honestly the peak of silly Morning Mizume. Okay, and now I know I'm doing these in the wrong order, so I'm very sorry because this is fifth generation's debut, which is Mr. Moonlight. So I really like this one. Again, peak silliness, let's be honest. Next up, we have Do It Now. So this is another absolutely amazing song. This was one of my favorites for a long time. I really love the rap part in it. And then we have, of course, Kokoni Iruze, which again, is a bop. I think I'm showing the wrong side, aren't I? That's the side people know. <laughs> so yeah, that's an amazing song. I can't go wrong with it. It's such an energetic song. So fun to watch in the concerts. So next we're going to do Joshi Kashimashi Monogatari. Again, I'm sorry if I'm going in the wrong order. I've put these in a very weird order because I picked them up bit by bit and then made different stacks. So it's just confusing. So Joshi Kashimashi Monogatari, I have this version, which is the CD. And then I also have the Event V, which has the DVDs on it. Um, so yeah, I don't have many event fees, so I'm very happy about that. I didn't really realize that I actually had that, so yay. Okay, so next up we have a very underrated single, The Manpower. Now, I love The Manpower, maybe it's just because I love my cower into pieces and it's the last real time of summer, but yeah, I love The Manpower. Listen to The, the Manpower. <laughs> so next up I have the event fee for Sexy Boy, so your cousin Yori Sate. Uh, I thought I had a normal version of that, not gonna lie, but I can't see it, so I'm gonna assume that I only have the Event V. Because my Morning Mizume ones aren't really split up, like, they're one of the few ones where I have them all together, because I bought them all very close together. <laughs> Next up, we have Ambitious Yashitenki de Ijan. Again, another really underrated single. I'm pretty sure I put that in the wrong place as well, didn't I? Yeah, I'm gonna figure out the order for these later, so, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so next up we have Egal Yes Nudo, and I actually have two different versions of this. Uh, I'm not sure what versions these are. Uh, this one says it has a DVD in it, uh, this one does not. So I have one of the DVDs, I don't know which one it is. I did not know I had two versions of that song, because I'm gonna be honest, it's not one of my favorites, but I'll take it. Now next up we have another song that I really like, and I sing this one live quite a lot as well, and this is Onna Nisachi Are, which, I wasn't that fond of when I first heard it, but it's really grown on me. Um, so I don't know which version this one is either. It looks quite thick though. Oh yeah, so the reason that this one is thick is because it also comes with a little photo book, um, which just has some nice little pictures of everyone. Yeah, it's 
nice getting stuff like that. Little free photo books, why not? Now, seeing as we're pretty much onto Platinum Era, a lot of these songs um, I don't know as well because Platinum Era is kind of the last one I started getting into. But we're starting off, well, I say we're starting off. I think Ego just knew and Only Sachi Ara might class as Platinum, I don't know. But I would definitely class this as Platinum. And this is Resonant Blue. So, which version is this one? I think this is the Event V. I think so. Yeah, it's definitely the event V, so I have more than I thought. I did not know that I had that. And next up we have Shogunai Yume Oibito. Again, not a song that I'm a huge fan of, but it's all right and it fills my collection, so I have it. Next up we have Nancha Terenai. Now, I really do like this. I think this was the first uh, event first event V, yeah, it was because I was wondering if it was an event V, but it is not as the CD. I think this was the first Platinum song that I really got into. I really do like it. I've sang that one quite a few times live as well. Uh, yeah, that's an amazing one. Next up for a song that I keep forgetting actually exists, it is Kima Gouda Princess. Now this version also has the DVD, the dance shot version of the dance. The dance shot version of the dance, of course. Um, I used to really like this song, but now it's kind of forgettable to me, but it is good. It's just I keep forgetting it exists. I'm really sorry, oh my god. Now I think you can tell I'm speeding through a bit and that's because I've literally already been filming for 52 minutes and I'm still not even through Morning Resume. But next we have Onagame Dete Naze Ikenai and I have this single version, which is very pretty. But I also have this version, <clears throat> which has the DVD, it has the makeup version, which is honestly one of my favorites. Uh, it's not one of my favourite songs, but I really do appreciate the um, the outfits and the makeup. They're just amazing. Now next up we have Station Collection, and I have two versions of this as well. Uh, both of them come with DVDs. This one has the dance shot version. Uh, this one has uh, the Station version type one. So I don't remember off the top of my head what that means, but yeah. Two little singles and DVDs as well, so amazing. Station Collection I do think is a very good song, I do think it's underrated but at the same time I do kind of forget it myself sometimes. Okay, I've officially, officially, I have officially had to change my camera angle because, well, I was kind of propping it up where the CDs are going and it's further across than I thought it would be with almost still an entire shelf already, but we're just going to move on. So, on the Otoko no Lullaby game. So this is an amazing song, uh, this one comes with the White Dance Shot DVD, uh, which amazing i prefer the white dance shot over the black dance shot just because it's easier to see the movements uh because they kind of blend into the dark background sometimes especially with the hair but um yeah that is an amazing single i do love that one and now we are on to the ninth generation with maji desu kasuka uh i really like this one you can't really go wrong with this song it's an absolute bop uh this dvd has the close-up version too and something to do with ninth generation so yeah Quite a, few, quite a few of the CDs I have from Amazon I have DVDs with them as well. And now we move on to Only You. So I have two versions of this CD. So I have this one, which I believe is just a single because it's quite thin. And then I also have this one, which has the close-up version of the music video. So yeah, two ones for that. I don't know why I'm putting them the wrong way around. It's two for Only You, which again, it's a song that I like, but I don't necessarily pick. And now we move on to 10th generation, even though they were very close together. Pyoka Pyoka Ultra. I love Pyoka Pyoka Ultra. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's just so fun. How can you not like it? They're chickens. Chickens. And now we have Renai Hunter. So I got this version first, which is obviously Nigaki Risa's graduation version. And then I also got this version just because why not? I like collecting a lot of more numerous space CDs. Uh, Renai Hunter, there's not really much to say about. It's good, but Again, I might not necessarily pick it, and I do think I prefer the um, updated version. And next up, we have a very, very popular Morning Mizume song, One, Two, Three. So this version, I'm not sure what's on this version off the top of my head. Um, let me see if it says inside. Uh, okay, so this version has the Another Dance Shop version DVD. Um, I'm not sure which type it is. I know there's a few coupling tracks for this one. I'm not sure which one this is. But yeah, this has another dance shot version DVD, which is amazing. Next up, we have Waka Take a Take a Chance, which is 
honestly an absolute tune and I love it this is just a single version there's no DVD but I adore this song and I'm really glad to have it as a part of my collection so next up I have two for help me so first I have this one which is the Sakura and Riho version which has Daisuke Data Dai Daisuke Data Da Den something you know why I don't remember off the top of my head for some reason and then I have this version which has the music video and I think it said the close-up version I'm not opening it again just to find out but yeah two versions of help me Hello, so I just had to run off for a while and stop filming, but I'm just gonna carry on. So, next up we have Brainstorming and Kimasai Ireba no Nanimo Iranai. So, I love this cover because obviously it's got a good focus on Raina, who I love Raina. <laughs> when I first saw my name is May, she stood out to me because I was like, oh my god, there's a ginger one because obviously I'm ginger. Um, I love that song, I love the single, um, Kimisai Iroba, I'm glad I got that cover with that song because I love the formation dance in that, it's something really special because I used to do major arts so formation dance is a very big part of that, so yeah, I really love that one. So next up we have the last single before more Numas may change their name, we have Wagamama Kino Mama Aina Juk and I also have this version which is the cover for Aina Gunda. So I think I prefer this cover more because I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like Wagamama Kino Mama Aina Joku that much. Uh, I think it's just a bit boring to me now, I guess. I'm kicking cat toys. Um, I think it just got played so much that I got kind of bored of it and the only bit of the song I really like is that I said a tie bit. Um, whereas Aina Gundan, I love Aina Gundan. Um, I know the dance to it and everything. It's a really good song. So yeah, I have two versions of that. So next up we have Egao no Kimi wa Tayosa, Kimi no Karui wa Iyoshi Anai, and What is Love? And this is actually still in the wrapper, like, it's very noisy. Um, let me see if I can slide that out, yeah. There you go, look at that. I'm gonna leave that out the wrapper because it's just gonna be noisy and annoying me. Um, I actually had two copies of this with the same cover, um, so I gave one to my friend Diana, who I do a lot of duets with, because she came over to my house a while ago. So I gave one version to her and I have one for myself. Uh, my favourite song on this is probably, I do love What Is Love, but I think Ega on Akimi Wa is probably my favourite because it's just so different from anything else they've done, so I really like that about it. So next up we have the first one that I have, I don't know why I just said that because it's not, the first one was the one I just said, Ega on Akimi Wa The second single, as Morning Was My One Thor, and that is... So this version has the music video DVD and this version has the, which one was it? I think the dance shot? Yeah, dance shot version. Uh, and they both have the CD with them as well. Um, Password is zero as well. Um, Password is zero I do really like, but I think I slightly prefer Toki Wakawa Saranakawa because it's just such a beautiful song and even though I don't usually like slow songs, the way it's done, I really do like that. So yeah. I really like both of these songs, so I'm glad to have two versions of that one. Okay, so next up, um, I'm going to show two at once because these were actually the first ever Morning Mizume CDs that I bought for myself. And this is Tiki Bun, which is the last single of Morning Mizume on Thor, and Seishin Kosoka Naitaru, which is the first single of Morning Mizume on Five. So I got into Morning Mizume just after Tiki Bun like, was released, um, around about the time Michizuke Sayumi graduated. So Seishin Kuzuka Naitaru was the first new song to come out while I was a fan. Ima Koko Kara was the first music video for me to watch. So I had to get both of those. Um, for Tiki Bun, my favourite song is probably Shabba Dabba Doo because it's so cutesy and I love Sayumi and it's such a good solo song that like I really enjoy singing it myself as well. Um, what do I have with this one? I think this one has a DVD as well maybe. Ooh, dropping stuff out of it. Uh, okay, so we have the normal CD and then on the back, I forgot this is the one that's got a broken case. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's the CD. Yeah, and this DVD has the music video for Tiki Bun. I'm gonna try and slot that back in now though because it's fallen out. And I dropped the little side piece as well, so I'm just gonna slot that back in as well. Um, yeah, these are like my older CDs, so it's not a surprise that that's the case that's broken, but yeah. So that's Tiki Bun, um, my favourite Shabba Dabba Doo on that. And then for Seishin Kozo, I don't know what's my favourite on this one, because this has Seishin Kozo Ganai Teru, Yugirawa Ameagari and Ima Kukukara. I want to say Ima Kukukara because for one it was the first new music video I watched, like I said, but also it was one of the first dances that I ever learned with my group on Wish, um, back when we had six members. So that was a lot of fun. 
Uh, I'm trying to see what DVD this has with it as well, if I can. Um, but honestly, all songs on this single are amazing. I know a lot of people don't really like Station because I can't hear that much, but I adore it. Um, that one's a CD and this one... Okay, yeah, so this one has the music video for Seishin Kozagane Teru. I believe the original music video because it doesn't say other version. So, yeah. Those two were my first two ever Morning Mizume CDs, so that's a fun bit of trivia. So next up for Morning Mizume 1-5, I have two versions of Oh My Wish to Cut On My Heart and Imasugu to Become a Yuki. So I have the Oh My Wish and the Imasugu version. So I think that one's my favourite because oh, I just love those outfits with those boots. But that one's really pretty as well. I do want the Cicat on My Heart version. I'm sad I don't have it. Uh, these are both just the singles, so it's just different cover art, but same music on it. No DVDs. But yeah, I think those are really good songs as well. Um, I think Oh My Wish is probably my favourite song um, because I've never really gotten tired of it. Imasugu, I kind of got tired of it for a while, but I'm really back into it again. And Cicat on My Heart... Again, I was really into it, but I've kind of gone off it now, but I'll probably be back into it in like a few months. And now for my last morning, Miss My 1-5 single, Sumitai Kaze no Kata Omui, Endless Sky, and One and Only. Okay, so I have the Sumitai version of this with Riho in the middle. This was Riho's graduation single. Favourite song on this? <laughs> It's honestly a tie up between Sumitai and Endless Sky. I think if I had to pick, I would probably go for Endless Sky. Um, just because I don't... Sumitai Kazano Katalmi, it, it feels like something that I could only really listen to in winter. It feels like a very wintry song because it did come out at the end of December. Um, whereas Endless Sky, I kind of enjoy that all year round and I also have more fun singing that. Um, one and only, I'm actually not a fan of. Um, I know a lot of people love it because it is in English, it's their only fully English song, but to me I just, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't really like the English vocals that much, I'm sorry, but it was still a great thing at the time and it was nice to bring Morning Was Me more internationally, so that was really nice. Um, but yeah, Endless Sky is my favourite on that one. And now we are starting off with Morning Mizume 1-6 and this is Utakata Saturday Night, Tokyo to Yukatasumi and The Vision. Um, obviously I have the Utakata cover. Uh, I love Utakata Saturday Night, I think most people in the fandom do. It is such a good song. The outfits are a bit... When the outfits first came out I said I do not like these but I get the feeling that they will probably match the song they're in because they seem very specific. And I agree with that. When the music video came out I was like yeah, the outfits work for this. <laughs> They're a lot less ugly when you see them in context. Um, for this one, my favorite song on it would be Utakata, but I also really do like Tokyo to Yukatasume. Uh, the Vision is also an amazing song, but again, slow songs aren't usually my cup of tea, but I definitely like all three songs on this single. And next up, we have my last three Morning Ms. May 1 6 singles, and also really my last Morning Ms. May single, other than um, a special one that I will show in a minute. So, this is Sexy Cat No Enzetsu, So Jedi, and Mukidashi no Mukiate. So, yeah, this is one of the few singles that I actually have all of the covers for. Well, all of the main covers for. Um, I've not got the DVD versions, this is just like the main ones uh, with just the single. But I mean like I've got all the songs, which is really nice. Uh, can we talk about how bad this is? Like it's literally just a bright pink background and they copied and pasted squares on. Like <laughs> I think anyone could have done better than that, whether they've done graphic design or not. Um, yeah, this is an amazing single. My favorite song on this one, that's really hard. I really enjoy all three of these songs. Um, See, Soja and I, I do love to pieces, but I think Mukidashi de Mukiate is slightly beating it for me because, I don't know, it's just more different. Uh, Sexy Cat's a good one as well, but up to the other two, up against the other two, it'll be my least favourite, but I still love it, which just shows how amazing of a single this is. And yeah, it's having all three versions of that one. So yes, my last morning was my CG is one that I probably should have said at the beginning, but it's the 10th anniversary one, Bakadage Ikiru My Asia. So this one features uh, five girls from Morning Mizume, past and present, she's not present anymore, but Kasumi Kaharu was in the group when this was done, uh, Ninka Kirisa as well, obviously. Um, so yeah, this has Kari Iida, Natsume A, Maki Goto, Risa Nigaki, and Koharu Kasumi. 
and this is a really amazing song again I don't really do slow songs so it's not my favorite but I still have a lot of fun singing it but the coupling track on this is one that I love so the coupling track is called June and I and throughout the lyrics it references a bunch of past morning as my singles so I really love it for that and look how pretty those outfits are but yeah that is the end of my morning misume section so yeah this wasn't just a morning misume video now we're gonna get on to the rest so I only have one other group beginning with M and that is Moso Calibration so I have their greatest hits world selection album I picked this up at Hyper Japan 2017 uh, which is where I saw them live um, so this has some of my favorite songs on I think it has all my favorite songs actually I don't know why I said some so it's got the um, Chin Chin Pui Pui, which I really like by them, Bang Bang number one I really love, and Sekida Ida Diary, which I love that song so much. Uh, yeah, I adore that one. Um, they're an amazing group. I don't, I think they disbanded, I'm not sure. Um, I remember hearing something about them going away and I was very sad about it, but they are an amazing group and I really enjoyed them and they were great live and this is a great album. But wait, I lied, there is one more group with M that I just realized. For some reason I was going by the album name instead of the group name, so I was thinking N. But no, Mutant Monster with Neko Cabaret. You can see this one's still in the packaging as well. <laughs> Cause I got this one, I think, around about November last year. Uh, it was when they were performing in Manchester at Jimmy's. Um, I just had to get a CD to support them. I don't think I've actually listened to this one yet because this was one of the ones that was one of the newer CDs. It was kind of just on my desk. Um, but yeah, look at look at the artwork on that. Like that is beautiful. You can't see it very well, but it's beautiful, trust me. And they are amazing. I really enjoyed seeing them live. I have their t-shirt as well. Definitely check out Music Monster if you haven't already. Okay, so next up I have two singles by Nami Amaro. So first I have Mint, which Mint is not my favorite song, but it was like, it was a pretty cheap CD and I was like, I wanna collect Nami Amaro. <laughs> and then this one, which I was much more excited about, Hero. So I love Hero by Nami Amaro. It's one of my favorite songs by her. Um, so yeah, I only have two Nami Amaro CDs, but I would like to get more in the future because she is the queen of J-pop. She's basically the Beyonce of J-pop, so you can't really go wrong there, can you? Um, so yeah, two little Nami Amaro CDs. I would hope to get more in the future, we shall see. And then I have one more for the letter N, and that is Necronom Idol. And I have Ari Darkness. This is actually a signed CD because I got this last year at their show. So you can see it's signed by one of the members. Um, so this one has Schools in the Stars, Jittery Jackal remix, 4.7 LK Toriki remix, and Ryla Jittery Jackal remix. I love the Jittery Jackal remixes. I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, they're amazing. So yeah, signed Necronom Idol CD. I was very happy about that one. And now we are on to the letter P, and we have yet another non-Japanese artist. This time we have Pink. This is with Misunderstood, so I got this one because it has Get the Party Started, and what was the other one I really like on it? Uh, I like Numb and I like Family Portrait, so yeah. It was just a nice little one, again, a really cheap one. A lot of my non-Japanese ones I got just because they're really cheap, but yeah, good album. And now we are on to R, and I think this might be a shocking one for a lot of people because I don't think people would expect me to listen to this artist. Um, so this is another non-Japanese one, and it is Robbie Williams. So first I've got Reality Killed the Video Star. Um, that one, my favorite song on that. Hmm. Favorite song on that is probably, um, probably You Know Me or Blasphemy or Starstruck. So that's probably my least favorite album of these three. So next up I have I've Been Expecting You. Uh, this has stuff like Win Some, Lose Some, Phoenix From The Flames, Grace, obviously my name. So that's gotta be a good song, right? Uh, These Dreams, Strong, etc. So yeah, that's my second Robbie Williams song. And then last but not least, I have Life Through A Lens, which is my favorite one, as it has my two favorite songs by him, Angels and Let Me Entertain You. You can't go wrong with Let Me Entertain You, can you? So yeah, those are my free Robbie Williams CDs, which a lot of people are shocked that I have, but can't go wrong with a bit of Robbie. Like, Robbie's great. Okay, so next up for S, we have Scandal. So I have two by these. I have the Greatest Hits European Selection, and then I also have just Scandal, I believe. It's just self-titled, isn't it? Yeah, Scandal by Scandal. Um, so the European Selection, it has um, a lot of my favorite songs. So it has like Doll, Harukaze, 
uh, Scandal Baby, Tayonaki Miga Ega Kastori, Shunkan Sentimental, um, and Sayonara My Friend. But this one has a lot of songs. So not only does it have most, if not all, of the ones I just said, it also has Hello Hello, Everybody Say Yeah, uh, it has Pinheel Surfer, it has Stamp, it has, did I say Doll on the other one? I think I did. It has Your Song, um, Sisters, and then probably a bunch in Japanese, which I can't read right now because I'm really far away from the screen. But yeah, there's a lot on this one because there's two CDs, I believe. Yeah, two discs. Both have 18 tracks, so as you can imagine, that's quite a big one. So I was very excited to get that CD because uh, with Scandal's albums, like, it's a lot of, like, I like a few from every album. So it was really nice to get two compilation CDs that have, like, all of my favourites on them. And then to finish off S, we have my last non-Japanese CD, and this is Sugar Babes, Angels With Dirty Faces. I'm going to be honest, I don't really know any of the songs on this CD, but I was like, I'll get it. So yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one. So next up, I have one that I don't actually have, because I was very excited to get this. Oh look, it's all of Tan Popo. But then when I ordered it, I opened it, I was like, oh, that CD looks familiar. That's because it's Do It Now by Morning Mizume. Um, I did get a full refund for this. Uh, I'm just not really sure what to do with it, so it's just kind of here. So unfortunately, I do not have any Tampopo. But hey, if anyone's got a Tampopo CD they don't want, or even if they want to keep the Tampopo CD but their box is a bit battered, let me know, I've got a spare. <laughs> But now back to CDs that actually have the right CDs in them. And we are on to another one that I don't think I've ever really spoken about that much, but I saw at Hyper Japan, and that is Toriana. So first I have AI Complex, and then I have Space Fugitives. Now I can't really point out songs on these because I'll be honest, a lot of the songs do sound very similar to me because it's all like chip tune music. Um, so I don't necessarily know the songs apart that well. Um, there is one that I really like. Uh, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Let me see if it says the track list on the inside of this one. Um, oh yeah, so I like the Reloading N remix. Um, and I like on this one, I like Midnight Hunter. I think that's my most played one on here and AI Complex, AI Complex itself. Um, so I don't know many of the songs that well, but I do listen to her like when I'm working and sometimes it's really helpful to concentrate to. I know some people can't imagine concentrating to chip tune, but sometimes for me, I like chip tune or even just Toho music. Um, so yeah, I really like those and she is lovely, so. Next up, we have two CDs from Usagi Miku. Look how cute she is. And then we got a nice little drawing on this one. Now I'm gonna be honest, I do not know that much about Usagi Miku. These were included in a present for me. Uh, they're really good songs, really good CDs. I like all the songs on both of them. Unfortunately, I can't say much about her because I don't really know anything about her, but her music is great. So feel free to check her out. So next up, we have a group that I literally cried for days when they disbanded. Yumefilo. So not a lot of people know about Yumefilo, but they had this single, We Are Going. Um, I was very, very happy to get a copy of this with some photo cards of the girls as well. Um, only one of them is still active because Hoshino Miku was already active as Plastic Colour, but then they made this group. And I loved all of them so much. Like, I can't really get a good picture. But they're all absolutely amazing. They were all absolutely amazing and I'm really sad that they disbanded and none of them are active anymore other than Hoshina Miku. Um, she's my favourite idol so I'm, I'm really grateful she's still active but I do really miss you before. This is an amazing song. I've done it live a couple of times just to kind of pay my tribute. Um, I would definitely recommend trying to find a copy of this on, well you probably won't be able to find the CD because it's not easy to get hold of. But you might be able to find a video of it on YouTube, so it's We Are Going by You Met The Love. Okay, so next up, and this is my final artist and my final four CDs. So, of course, the idol I just mentioned from Plastic Colour, Hoshino Miku. Um, so I have four Plastic Colour CDs, which I'm really happy with because they were all given to me um, from Japanese fans who sent them to me. So thank you guys who helped me out. Um, <clears throat> so first we have this one, which was the first major single, I believe. So the group did used to have five members. Um, unfortunately, Hashina Miku is the only current member now. She's a solo idol. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened because I'll be honest, it's really hard to find information because she's a smaller, lesser known idol. Um, but yeah, this, this is actually a signed CD by her. 
So yeah, this says, Grace, thank you, I love you, and her little signature. Um, that is like the best thing that I own. <laughs> So yeah, I really love that one. Genki Gadashite equals it is an amazing song. So is Plastic Color. I honestly love both of them. And yeah, you can't go wrong with Plastic Color. So the next one I have by her is Never Give Up. This one is also signed. That one just says thank you. <laughs> so yeah, those two are signed for me. So this song I absolutely love. I've recently made the lyrics into Romaji, so I'm hoping to do a cover of that soon. I've already done Genki Dashite equals it and Plastic Color. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing Never Give Up. And then the last two I have by her, these ones are not signed. Hopefully if she ever comes to UK, I can be like, sign them. So we have Baby Love Me Do and Nega Pussy Colorful. So these are both amazing as well. You can see this is like, she's kind of changed her style now. She does a lot more of like the drawing stuff. Um, yeah, so basically all I was saying there was those are also amazing. Plastic colour in general is amazing. Please check her out. But anyway, as you may have just figured out, my storage got full. So um, I'm going to end this here. I mean, that was luckily the last four CDs. Let me put them on the shelf. Ta-da! I shall include a picture of what my CD shelf looks like now. It all fits on one shelf amazingly. But anyway, I need to go quick because my storage is full. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to talk about any of my CDs, got any questions, please do leave a comment and I will do my best to reply. It was really nice going through everything. Um, I have so much more in resume. <laughs> That's all I've really got to say. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future where I'm just kind of doing different things then please feel free to leave any suggestions below and I will look into them yeah thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the next video bye bye